Hello and welcome to the video. This is a look at this model here. Now this is a quad from Avant Quadcopters and this is based on the Succo 5 frame but it's their bind and fly version. Now this is something that I was interested in getting my hands on. There aren't a lot of really high end frame builders like this where you can buy the bind and fly models from. Uh, it seems to be more, you know, you kind of get all the pieces and you build it yourself. But lots of people out there want to get into higher end quadcopters but don't feel comfortable about getting all the parts and building it themselves. They want a quad that's going to work straight out of the box. So this is one of those things that I was made aware of, so I've got one in to have a look. Now this is available with uh, with and without spare arms, lots of different motor types you can choose. You can also choose your receiver type. Uh, the one on this, I've gone for a Crossfire receiver on this, and it's come beautifully configured straight out of the box, but more about that in a second. So this is based on the Avant Succo 5 frame. Uh, it has a Hobbywing F4 uh, G2 flight controller with a BL32 45 amp ESC stack that will support 4 to 6S. But in the configuration that I have here with these props and motors, this is really a 4S machine. Has uh, one Rush tank 5.8 gig 25 to 800 milliwatt VTX. Different options for the motors. I've gone for the 4S version, which are the Brother Hobby Returner R6 2306 2450 KV versions. Or if you want the 6S, you go for the 1750 KV. I've got a Foxeer Predator V2 Mini in the front with a 1.8 millimeter lens. It's available with the FR Sky XM Plus or the TBS Crossfire Nano, uh, nicely supplied with the Immortal T antenna, which is what I prefer to use. Has a TPU mount on there as well to just keep it out of the way of everything and protect it in the event of a crash. Has one Foxeer Lollipop antenna that's again held in place with a flexible TPU mount that uh, means it just bends out the way when you do crash it. And this one has bounced up down the local field quite a bit over the last two weeks. Uh, one set of tri-bladed props and an Avant battery strap. So let me very quickly go through the settings of Betaflight. Uh, so it's TBS Smart Audio for the VTX, the DShot 1200 for the ESCs. Uh, you'll note here that the accelerometer is enabled, so we've only got the gyro highlighted at the top. You can turn that on. Set for CRSF. Uh, all of the settings in here are kind of exactly how you'd expect. PID tuning, we'll come back to this, is really nice, and that's what it looks like out the box. Everything set up. You're going to need a little bit of playing around in the modes tab. I personally enabled the accelerometer in the configuration tab and then enabled both angle and horizon mode. This definitely feels like it's set up. Somebody that knows what they're doing flying quadcopters. It's 4.02 of beta flight on the Omnibus F4 target, so we're in good shape. To fly, surprise, surprise, it is absolutely beautiful. The amount of effort and detail in this really shows. The components are really nicely done and the configuration is great. Avant really have thought about what they needed to put in this frame and put everything in here that you want and nothing that you don't want. So the frame is very, very nice. I like the fact you can actually buy this frame separately if you wanted to build your own quad based on the frame. The motors, flight controller, ESCs, VTX, camera, receiver, antenna are all really great choices and it, they go together well. They've been put together really nicely and they make for a beautiful flying quad. It is put together like an experienced builder would make it. It's kind of built like how I would do it, having built dozens of quads over the last three or four years. But there are some really nice touches, like the wire protection, uh, where the props would strike the arm in the event of a crash, to make sure that you don't cut through the motor wires in the event of a hiccup great big capacitor in the input as well just to help with voltage smoothing the tune out of the box is probably one of the best tunes i've ever had on a ready to fly quad even in angle and horizon mode it feels really really locked in there's no bounce and the stops after harsh movement are very crisp and precise and all the stuff that you're that you need to do to set it up to fly is done already with the exception of setting up the receiver tab and setting up the modes and OSD the way you really like it. There's only a couple of things that I'd make you aware of with this. The first is that 
because of that build that seems to be more aimed at an advanced pilot, I would personally turn the accelerometer back on. That will give you access to your angle and horizon modes. If you were starting out and wanted to buy a quadcopter that you could learn with, but then would support you as you've got more and more skills, this is definitely one that would do that. It's hovering easily on my 4S battery at about a quarter throttle, so it has an awful lot of power even on 4S. The VTX was set to 800 milliwatts as it arrived here. Uh, be careful of that. Just double check it when you power it all up for the first time. Drop that down to the legal limit for wherever you are. And the only other problem that I had with mine is in one of the last crashes I've just had, unfortunately the battery was ejected and pulled the power wires going from the 4-in-1 ESC into the battery into one of the props. So the prop has sliced that up. Now I'm going to have to pop the top off and replace those couple of wires. I'm probably going to do a little bit smarter routing or maybe a cable tie or two just to keep them out the way of the props because you don't want to stop your fun by having something like that happen in the field again. But as the first quad that I've ever had from Avant, I have been very, very impressed. This is a beautiful frame. It's really well put together with a lot of thought and care. And the little touches as well as the tune that's on here make it an absolute pleasure to fly. So if you're looking for a quadcopter that's been built with a bit of care and it's not something that you're personally interested in doing, then this is definitely one to look at. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.